Say good morning. Okay. Good morning. I came in here to give them breakfast. And it is like a bomb went off in here. Some mornings I come in here. And it's pretty much how I left it the night before. And then some mornings it's crazy. Good morning, cinders. I mean, see all that? That's food. I don't know. And that's normally Maggie's spot. <laughs> and look what I did last night. I made them um, a little area. And this is an automatic shut off. Don't anybody freak out. That's an automatic shut off. So um, I put it on one and then it turns off after an hour. So it's no big deal. But I put like a really plush blanket and of course what okay come on come on to my lap come on if you're gonna holler come here come here this is rosie which you should be just rose because you holler all the time and um this was covered and i have a heat pad in there it got really cold last night and i um i did turn the heater on but this room, the heater doesn't heat as well because with the door shut, I've, I've never been able to figure it out. And normally I put like a little heater in here, um, but no, 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 no. I really just didn't, I don't know. I didn't want to freak them out because I couldn't stay in here for a long time. Uh, because of other stuff so I just made them and they loved it they thought I had made them you know their own new area didn't you I loved it I know cinders and Rosie no cinders and Rose are the needy ones at the moment it changes at the moment oh hey prim prim and then here show everybody your eyes i don't know look at prim's eyeballs let's see all the, now they're they're okay i actually did not film yesterday it just we we woke up to mess i woke up and prim's little eyeballs were both matted shut Yes, um, Maggie, who is over there in the mess of the litter box, which, y'all, I'm cleaning in just a minute. It did not look like this last night, I promise. <laughs> Hello, Rose. Come on. Miss Maggie is constipated really badly. I think it is, and this is gross, and I'm sorry. Okay, well, you're here. Come on, come up. But look, I mean, she's even walking. She's even walking funny because of it. But I gave them their last dose of tapeworm dewormer. And you know, Maggie had the worst tapeworms of all of them. She was the reason I even found out they had tapeworms. And I think, and the vet thinks too, she has a vet appointment in just a little bit to go get an enema. Because I'm too scared to do it myself. I've only ever seen it done once, and I, Maggie's so tiny, I'm not going to try it. Hi, baby. So, uh, Maggie's going to get an enema because she's got, like, on her stomach underneath, she's got this big, hard lump, and if you touch it, she, like, she doesn't scream, but she just, oh, she goes, and then... She'll kind of hiss at you. And she's being really guarded around the other cats. Aren't you? She doesn't want them like near her. And she's walking really funny. So like you can kind of see see how she's stretching out and walking. I just feel so bad for her. So we're going to go get an enema, aren't we? You'll, yeah, we're going to get all those. And the vet thinks it's because of the tapeworms. He thinks sometimes when there's a bunch of them. They'll kind of like all clump up and die and block out to the, you know, gunner. Oh, 
and she won't lay down. She keeps, that's how she's sitting. She won't lay down, she won't do anything. And then when she, well, if she walks, hi, Prim. Hi. I know, hi. I know. But a Prim's eyes are already looking lots better. We have her, you know, she's had eye problems from the beginning. So I keep her eye medicine on hand. And then Gina has sent me, hold on, I'll show you. Gina has sent me this, uh, oh, Prim, look at her. Oh, oh okay. I, you think I hadn't been in here all day? I've been in here all morning. Oh, here, sh give me, show everybody how you're looking at me. Oh, no, wait, did you gonna stop now? She was, oh, there. What? She was giving me a look like. Anyway, it is, um, not focusing, the antimicrobial optimolic gel. And I love this stuff. I actually, and I hate saying this, but I like this stuff better than the prescription tube that the vet gives you. I just love this stuff. Um, because, you know, uh, Hippo's one eye started watering. We think he scratched it because it's just the eye. Um, he doesn't have any other like symptoms and so anyway and I've been using this on it and Prim and Prim's have cleared up now she's still got like sorry I had to give Prim kisses she's still got Manny oh oh my goodness I'm sorry guys Rose just sneezed right into my ear <laughs> oh I just hope everybody's not getting a cold getting cold I keep checking everyone and looking at everybody's eyes and noses and Prim's the only one with bad eyes and but there has been a lot of sneezing lately. But they don't look bad. Hi Cinders. Oh you can kind of see your pretty coat. Oh and I think people are asking about your toes. Let me see your toes. She's gonna she's gonna look like her mama. Yeah, can I, but come here, let me see. See, um, Rose looks fine. Like, oh, wait, oh, no, I'm sorry. Hello, Puck. Hello. Here, let's see your pretty toes. Okay, well, yep. So I've got one here. I think that's the only light color, but. What? Okay. Here, oh, I was gonna say there they are in a row. But we're gonna clean now. And there's Maggie and Hippo. I'm gonna clean, make this pretty and cool again. Yeah. Ooh, stretch, stretch, stretch. But this may be all I'm filming here today because like I said, I've got to take Maggie to the vet and I'll probably wanna film some in the bathroom. Do you not feel so good? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Are you full of poop? Yeah. We'll fix it. Hi. Hi. Tell everybody where we're going. I know. Say, like everybody, we have to go to the vet to get an enema. I know. Last late last night, I picked her up, and when I touched her stomach, she like made this horrible noise, and she flinched, and then she started just setting. Like she won't lay down, she won't, and like if you get near, she kind of will like hiss at you and see how like her ears are. Like she's in, you can just tell, she's in horrible, horrible pain. Delivery. And the last box is from Gina and she sent the little kitten tree thing that was on the wish list first does that not look like puck that just so looks like puck to me oh it is not in the box any longer uh, I had my son take it out and put it together and I put it in the bathroom with mama and her two babies they love it Gina also sent two bags of the Blue Wilderness food. 
one salmon and one chicken, which is amazing because we all love it. My favorite food. Everybody knows. And a case of the pate fancy feast. She also sent two things of KMR. Um, but as I said earlier, the bottle babies use a lot of KMR. And so the other one is in the refrigerator because I've already opened it and am using it. She also sent two of my favorite kind of scratchers. Uh, they're the catted, I believe they're the catted scratchers. Um, they're on my wish list. They're amazing and they don't cost a million dollars like some scratchers. They are amazing. But one of them is also in the room with Mama and her two babies because, like you saw, um, Ollie was scratching on the wall quite a bit and he was scratching at my leg when I went in there, so he needs a scratcher. But what's really funny is Ollie doesn't use it near as much as Hunter. Hunter, the minute I put it down, was like all over it. Scratch, 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 scratch. Uh, Ollie does use it, but not like Hunter does. So I just thought that was weird. And she also sent me a, a small playpen, like the ones the bottle babies are in. I really like the small ones for when they're little, they're easier to get in and out of, and um, easier to keep warm in there. And I just really like the playpens. They just make, you know, keeping them together so much easier. It makes quarantine so much easier, you know, because when they're tiny and they can walk, but just not well, you don't want them everywhere. So I just love them. There's also two cases of the poultry platter. And you can see I've already opened it and started using it because I, I don't know if it'll be in this video or not but probably um that cinders is here cinders came we did decide to bring cinders back and see how she did in the foster room she was very lonely and cinders will only eat poultry platter period she won't even eat the turkey and giblets she'll only eat the poultry platter and then mama uh from the hoarding situation uh really likes the poultry platter the most too we'll eat other stuff but but that's really her favorite, and that's what I feed her the most of. Then there's two of the Tomlin High Calorie Nutritional Gel for kittens. I love it. I love this stuff. Uh, I actually used the last of the one tube that I had when I was feeding it to squash. So I was completely out and just didn't think to even put it back on the wish list. So thank you, Gina, for reading my mind. Uh, because this stuff is great to supplement if they're, you know, won't eat or if they need just a little extra boost. And some of them actually like it. They'll just lick it off. And then some, I just put some on my pinky and then I kind of just scrape it off with their teeth. You know, I like just put it in their mouth and then they eat it and they don't like gag or anything like that. So... It must taste pretty good. It's supposed to be tuna flavored. It was also three boxes of the Pyrental, which is a dewormer for both roundworms and tapeworms. You know, they don't normally come together. Normally you have to get a roundworm dewormer and a tapeworm dewormer. But this, they come together and it is wonderful. And it works really well. I have used this before. This is my preferred brand i wish they made it in a liquid we're three boxes i've already used one this is what i used to um this is what i used after i found the horrible worms in ollie i used a box for ollie callie and hunter um and then they'll have to have another round in two weeks and this is a packet of the emergency blankets the reflection they're like the mylar um, that, you know, reflects and heats and keeps you warm and they're real thin. So I'm really excited about this. I actually have a couple ideas that I'm going to try with these and I will let you know how it goes. And there are two of the self-warming crate pads uh, that I really like. I've had these for a long time, 
Uh, now, I use one outside in the feral shelter that I have kind of by my back, my side door. Um, that Princess and, well, Scorch, it was first Scorch's before Scorch went to his new home. And then Princess took it over. And now Princess kind of wanders more. Uh, but it was summertime. So it's getting cold. Today, it's like... 55, which I know y'all are like, that's not that cold. It is in Arkansas. I mean, it will get below freezing here eventually, but not until like the end of December and January probably. Do you hear her? She is just purring up a storm. It's about seven o'clock in the evening. And really I've just been doing like administrative work and trying to get the calendar video finished, which I didn't. I have to do voiceovers, and I hate it. I keep deleting them. <laughs> Hello, love. No? Okay, you gonna come up here, though? Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Thank you. I need to get them a scratch pad. I keep forgetting. Oh, don't get my glass on her head. Hello. Hello, my dog. See, so I've turned into a total love bug. Uh -huh. And I don't know if I've captured it on film yet or not. But he sleeps on his back with his little belly just all up in the air. And it is adorable. I love it. This one sleeps with his head on the other one's belly most of the time. And then mom wraps around the two. But they're always just so precious when they're sleeping. I don't ever want to disturb them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought he was going to sleep. He wasn't. He's playing with his tail. Maybe he is. They've been more sleepy. But today is the first day. It's been cool. Like, it was only 70 degrees today. It's amazing. And, like, right now it's in the 60s. Once the sun started going down. Oh, my goodness. Like, I have a little lightweight jacket on. It's amazing. Isn't it, Mama? Yeah, it's amazing. Mama is a purr. Aren't you? Yeah. We're going to go try and an eater. <laughs> Mama eats and eats and eats and eats. These three probably go through 10 cans of food alone a day, but that's okay. Where are you going? Are you trying to get the cake? Oh! Nope. Oh. You're safe. You're safe. I love that he finds my lap safe now. Yeah. Oh, big one. Yeah, stand safe. Honey, are you just comatose? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. You know, Mama. You know, my love. Hello. But she's actually a really, really good cat. Hmm. Hmm. Isn't she? Yes, she is. Are you just the cutest? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sweet. Huh. Did you leave the tail alone?
I don't think he can decide whether he wants to take a nap or play. Oh, my belly. Oh, they have such good bellies. They have perfect kitten bellies. 